The court, through guarantees of non-repetitions, mm -hmm. uh, has um, ordered the states to modify their constitutions uh, in order to be in conformity with the convention. Actually, the American Convention of Human Rights has established different duties. So, the, to respect rights, but also to guarantee rights. And Article 2 established, like, the, the states who signed or ratified that convention has to um, to uh, adapt their domestic law in order to be in conformity with the convention. So through that, uh, when, when the court finds a violation of this Article 2 or, the, or, or a violation of the duty to guarantee a right, mm -hmm. the court has ordered those modifications. And that's an, another important concept is this, uh, what we call the, the conventionality control. So that means that every authority has to to interpret, uh, to apply their domestic law, but also in conformity with with the with, with the convention. So, uh, of course, it has a big impact not only in constitutional law, but also in the implementation of domestic laws. The, the American Convention, since it's a treaty from 1969. Mm -hmm. It also only established a private property concept. But when the court received the first cases in this century, 2001, those cases were regarding with indigenous communities. And the court has to interpret the convention not only in individual conception of property, but also in a collective conception. So uh, the court, using other international treaties, recognized that indigenous community could not be ruled by the same rule of private property, but it has to, to include their cosmovision. So uh, through this jurisprudence, the court recognized uh, other important um, rights of the indigenous uh, populations, which are uh, linked with their private property, like, such as natural resources or, or other uh, protection of their environment. Okay.